In this tutorial video, I would like to show you how to use the graph icon in the search. So let's search here uh, for a simple thing like injure. And in the next field, I do head. And I do the search by pressing again enter or in the left upper corner, you can click here on the small magnifying glass. Now note that I have here search in the current document only. This is my preferred default. You can see another video how you can select here this to be your, your default setting. This means that I have found now here 40 rubrics in the synthesis repertory because I came here from the synthesis and I do a search in the current document only. Now, of course, you can take all these rubrics by Ctrl R on Windows or Command R on Mac and then take them into a clipboard. And then in the clipboard, you can see the search results as an analysis. So if I click here on the analysis, I see here the result as an analysis. But I would like to see it more graphically. So let me close here this analysis. I'm back here in the search window and you see here the graph icon. If I click now on the graph icon, you see here graphically represented the same search result. Now note that this is a new tab. So this is a tab with the, with the injury head graphically shown. And this is the tab with the search result as text. So to keep it simple, let me close here first this extra tab. I'm now again here in my search window and I would like to search also for convulsions, but I would like to know which remedies are in injury to the head and have convulsions. So I keep here this search result open and I click on this icon to add a new search tab. So this is the new search tab and this was the previous result. So I click here on the new search tab and here I search for convulsion. So convulsion. I also do the search here by pressing enter or I could click in the left upper corner on the small magnifying glass. You see now I have 1451 Robux with convulsions in the repertory. This was my first search, injury of the head. And this is the second one, all the conversion rubrics. I would like to see graphically now if there are remedies that have both. So I click here on the graph icon and it does quickly the injury head and the convulsions. And you can see, for example, here Sikuta has uh, injury to the head and convulsions, the others of course also, but here for example Arnica has it quite equal, uh, has injury to the head a few and convulsions a few. Now if I would like to know which rubrics uh, this remedy is in, so in which rubrics of injury to the head and convulsions is Arnica. So I double click here on this bar and you will do again a new search and it will show you uh, those rubrics of injury in the head and convulsions in which Arnica must be present. So here is Arnica, here is Arnica, so here is Arnica and let me just do one more, for example here those 11 there's Arnica also. So I have now a top with the search result of injury head. I have here a top with the search result of convulsions. Uh, I have here a top with graphically represented this combination injury head and convulsions. And I click here again on the search top. And I have here another top where I did this combination and uh, that only those rubrics are shown where also the remedy Arnica is present. 
So you must uh, be aware here that you sh should navigate between all these tops. Uh, and this is the search result. This was injury head graphically. And here also these tops. To close one top, I just click here on the little X. I would like to end this with one tip. If you go back to the repertory and you click in the upper bar on search, it will delete your search result as if you would start a new search. If you want to keep your search result, remember to click on the top of the search and your search result is still there. In a separate video, I will do a similar search, but then through the whole library, so not only the repertory.